everyone, welcome back. This is your weekly update for Saturday, May 30th, 2020. So I'm gonna start off this week by sharing a few updates. Uh, the first one, we're gonna take a little walk and I'm gonna show you in person. Okay, so update number one is topsoil back in stock, quite a few pallets. And now we have more bags of the large three cubic foot of Better Grow potting soil. Update number two is more of an unfortunate event. Uh, we had ordered a full truckload of Arbovita, Western Red Cedar, Bobo Hydrangea. You've all been waiting for more. It was supposed to come on the 28th. It was supposed to come on the 30th. Now we heard it might be several weeks delayed. So unfortunately we had advertised that these plants would be here, but just like you, we are waiting on them as well. Update number three is on our perennial hibiscus. You guys have been calling, emailing, hey, when is it gonna be ready? Well, I personally went and looked at it the other day and probably 60% of the plants are now up and growing, but 40% has shown no life yet. Uh, this isn't necessarily uncommon. We have some very large perennial hibiscus planted up by our front uh, fence, up by the street, and some of those have not shown growth yet either. A lot of times, even through June, uh, June 1st, June first week of June, they may not show growth. So we're waiting on those, so it might be another few weeks until those are ready. So now I'm gonna head over to the greenhouses, including the annual house, give you an update on what is even left back there. And we'll head into the perennial house and we will talk about June being National Perennial Gardening Month. Okay, one more thing before I go. I can't believe I almost forgot the most important thing of the week, and that is weather. If you haven't seen the forecast, tonight and Sunday night are calling for overnight temperatures in the mid 40s. This is not good for your annuals, especially your tropicals, they do not like it. This cold can stunt their growth. Of course, it is not as cold as a freeze, but they do not like this cold. So if you can, if your plants are potted, please bring them indoors. Your garage will be fine, inside your house will be fine, but please bring them in. Okay, I made it back here. We still have a very good selection. You'll notice some empty tables. We are trying to restock but things aren't going so well. Even our vendors are starting to run out. But we did get more basil. We're finally back in stock of that. It's limited, but if you need some, come on in. One thing also that we have a lot of is the Sally Fun Annual Salvia. This is a butterfly and hummingbird magnet uh, for full sun. And for those of you that are new to house plants and wanna try something easy first, we have this new section here behind me. It's right as you enter into the annual house of easy to grow house plants. Some of our favorites are here like really having trouble keeping the stock. The Sansevieria, that's a fun one. And if you haven't got one yet this year, the mother of thousands, look at all those babies on there. So I've made it into the perennial house and June, which is in a few days, is perennial gardening month. That honor was bestowed by the Perennial Plant Association. Uh, they said basically because your garden center will have a very large selection of perennials at this time and a lot of them will be in bloom. Uh, the Perennial Plant Association also awards a Perennial Plant of the Year. This year I've talked about it before, but I'll talk about it again because it's really nice, is Aurelia Sun King. Uh, these are a little small, they just got uh, brought up. But this plant's really great, it is for the shade. I mean, look at that bright, vibrant, goldish foliage. It'll really set off any shady garden. Give this uh, plant room. It can grow up to three foot tall by three foot wide and does get a white flower uh, around midsummer. So I moved over to the sun section of the perennial house. I'm gonna continue my three favorite plants of the week and I have been waiting and waiting to talk about this one. I was hoping it's in bloom and it is, and it is Baptisia. Uh, this is one of those plants that it may not look, it may look a little uh, delicate, but actually it will grow in poor, dry soil, full sun, part shade. I have one at home, it came back just beautifully. I have the worst soil in this one part of my garden and I am so happy with it. This one is a yellow. Uh, we have mostly yellow right now in stock, but I did order some blue to come in mid next week. Just for a little bit more information on this plant, Baptisia usually start blooming in June. And a word of advice, give these room. A lot of them can grow three to four feet tall by three foot wide. So give them plenty of space. So my second favorite plant this week is also for poor, dry soil in full sun. 
it'll grow anywhere is perennial salvia. This one's one of my new favorites. It's called Karamia. I don't know if you can see it, but the stems are very dark, like almost a purple, with these pretty, pretty flowers also. And then also Fashionista, pretty in pink. Uh, salvia comes in different colors like lavender, purple, pink, and white. Okay, plant number three for the week is on the complete opposite growing spectrum as the other two. This is a stilby, it also called as feather flower. It gets those really pretty plumes um, midsummer. What I like about this one particularly is, in my yard at least, it loves water. It actually grows in a leach bed and it does very well. So they like, um, they can tolerate some sun, but they prefer part shade to shade and they can tolerate a moist soil. Last but not least, I have one final update and that is about the Albarn Market. Uh, you've been asking, is it even gonna open? When is it gonna open? The answer is yes. What we usually wait for is the availability of local produce. A lot of times this produce starts in Southern Ohio. Once that starts becoming available, like corn, sweet corn, tomatoes, we will then open the market. That's usually around the third or fourth week of June. And yes, we do plan on being open just, just as usual. I have listened to you. I have ordered more product more gifts, more wall decor, and a lot more concrete statuary. So we should have more available to shop, including our fresh produce. Well, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.